This may look like a pretty average flock of pigeons, but in fact, these birds could hold the key to bringing extinct animals from the passenger pigeon to the woolly mammoth back to life. The birds, in Melbourne, Australia, are the first pigeons in history with reproductive systems that contain the Cas9 gene, an essential component of the CRISPR gene editing tool. This will allow scientists to edit their offspring with DNA from the passenger pigeon, the first time live animals will have been edited with traits from a species that no longer exists, and the first stage in a radical de-extinction experiment. Passenger pigeons were once the most abundant bird in North America, with flocks so big they could reach 300 miles, 480 kilometers, long and blot out the sun. Despite numbering up to 5 billion during the 19th century, their numbers dropped sharply in the 1800s, due to a surge in hunting, and the species finally went extinct in 1914 when its last surviving member, a female called Martha, died alone in Cincinnati Zoo. Now, thanks to a radical new gene editing technique, they could make a return. Ben Novak, a US scientist has spent six years on the de-extinction project, is pursuing his PhD at Monash University, where he has bred the birds. New technologies will be able to do what traditional methods of conservation couldn't, save a species even after it has gone extinct, he wrote on Twitter. He recently spoke at the TEDx De Extinction Conference and directs the Passenger Pigeon Project for Revive and Restore. He is currently rearing the first birds injected with the Cas9 gene, building a flock researchers can use. In August, 11 squabs survived from 46 eggs, and Novak aims to repeat the process until they have 22 pairs of birds for breeding. They will then begin introducing passenger pigeon traits. After he determines how passenger pigeon DNA manifests in the rock pigeons, Novak hopes to edit the band-tailed pigeon, the passenger pigeon's closest living relative, with as many of the extinct birds defining traits as possible. Eventually, he told the Wall Street Journal, he will have a hybrid creature that looks and acts like a passenger pigeon, but still contains band-tailed pigeon DNA. He say he has even chosen a name for the new creature, Patagionas neoctopists, or New Wandering Pigeon of America. The first step was to sequence the passenger pigeon genome, a project led by Beth Shapiro, a professor of ecology and evolutionary biology at the University of California, Santa Cruz and the author of the book, How to Clone a Mammoth. She began by trying to find out why the birds became extinct. The bird's abundance may have played a role in their extinction, new researcher has found. Though it may seem counterintuitive, the pigeons evolved quickly and in the process, lost certain traits that were useful for surviving in smaller groups. The birds were unable to adapt to the rapid drop in population size caused by hunting, solving the mystery of why the bird went extinct so quickly. The researchers, from the University of California, Santa Cruz, analyzed genes taken from well-preserved museum specimens that were over a century old. Their findings provide a warning that even the most abundant animals, are threatened by swift changes in the world around them. Our results suggest that even species with large and stable population sizes, can be at risk of extinction after a sudden environmental change, said the study, led by Professor Beth Shapiro. Although large populations of animals tend to be genetically diverse, researchers were stunned by their analysis of four extinct pigeon genomes, which were compared to two modern carrier pigeons. They found that passenger pigeon diversity was surprisingly low, the study said. This was the result of rapid natural selection accelerating the spread of beneficial mutations, and the elimination of bad mutations through the population. When the researchers looked at which genes showed evidence of adaptive evolution, they found many linked to the demands of living in large flocks. Among the 32 genes identified were those associated with the immune system and stress reduction, large dense populations tend to have a high burden of disease and social stress. Passenger pigeons were fantastically well adapted to living in their large population sizes. It was very sudden shift to small population size that was problematic, said Professor Shapiro. Until now, the prevailing theory was that the birds went extinct due to a booming commercial hunting industry. This forced the animals into isolated populations, leading to lots of inbreeding, lower genetic diversity and poor health. But the latest findings suggest the reason was more complex. The birds evolved quickly and may have adapted to large social groups, hunting and breeding together. 
flying in gargantuan masses, their sheer size protected them against predators. But in smaller groups, these defenses fell short, leading the birds relatively rapid extinction, which took just a few decades. While genetic shortcomings didn't help the pigeons, human hunting is still the main reason the birds died off. The biggest challenge to their survival was the market for their meat, said Professor Shapiro. If it hadn't been for skilled human hunters, we may still have passenger pigeons around today.